<laughs> Not after Austin Matthews showed up. But Austin Matthews showed up because somebody decided to put a hockey team in Arizona. And I wonder tomorrow night how many kids are going to watch Brandon Brewer and have a new hero. Dylan Carmen. Canadian champ, heavyweight champ Dylan Carmen. Canadian super middleweight champ Shaquille Finn. Chris Norad, cruiserweight champ. So many good young fighters and prospects here, Annie Mazzaro and Dominique Babineau, so many others. Tomorrow night there's going to be a lot of kids, probably between 5 and 15 years old, who start boxing within the next few months. And probably 10, 15 years from now we'll all be watching them fill up maybe an even bigger building, but it takes somebody with the courage and the audacity of a Brandon Brewer who built a name for himself. The old saying, if you build it, they will come. Well, he's built a name. He's built a reputation, he's built a record, and he's built an event that we can all be proud of. Why don't we stand and give him a round of applause before we start? <laughs> well deserved, it will be a lot noisier tomorrow evening. Oh. Before tomorrow evening begins, we have to get to the way in, but let me just say this is one great event that uh, we're all going to remember for a long time and you know Fredericton was kind of a boxing hot spot back in the 30s and 40s and some of the names that uh, were fighting back then in fact Yvonne Durrell fought in his first year here of boxing when he was boxing in 1949 10 months after he started he fought here in Fredericton New Brunswick and other great names uh, Rocky McDougall, Art Hake he fought here in Fredericton 40, 50, 70, 100 years from now, people are going to be talking about events like this. They're going to be talking about Brandon Brewer, Dylan Carmen, Shaquille Finn, Chris Norad, Andy Mazzaro, Dominique Babineau, Joel Graham, Tom Latour. They're going to be talking about all you guys. So tomorrow night when you're in the ring, remember what you're doing is going to echo. Remember the famous line from the movie Gladiator, Maximus said, what we do in life echoes in eternity. Your, your performance tomorrow night is going to have an echo effect. And it's going to spin off into many great things for many other people in the future. So we are very blessed to be here today at the Delta, the nicest hotel in Fredericton. And we have some guys who are anxious to get on the, sta the scale, and some perhaps more not. <laughs> But I know one guy that is anxious to get on the scale, and we have a main event, the WBU Intercontinental Championship for 12 rounds. And we're going to go with this side first. We have with this from Sao Paulo, Brazil, Anderson Clayton. Anderson Clayton. While the weigh-in is taking place, one representative from each camp can come and be a witness. Anderson Clayton has an outstanding record of 44 wins, 10 losses, 38 of those wins remarkably come by way of knockout. And he has a Mike Tyson tattoo. Yes! <laughs> Just mentioned it. Official scale 152.4. One fifty. I shouldn't have to mention turn your cell phones on. One fifty-two point four. Mr. Brandon Brewer. One fifty-three exact. One hundred and fifty-three. We can have these two guys. Photo 
shoot. Face off. Uh, face off. Hey, bud. Sorry, I'm live on Facebook. It's all good. Beautiful belt held by Don Collette, the WBU Intercontinental Championship, 12 rounds. We got the shot. Easy, easy. Sandy. Sandy Pembroke. <laughs> <laughs> 
Is he inside? <laughs> Yay, Sandy. <laughs> Mr. Sandy Pembroke from Ottawa, Ontario. Stocks and painted toes to match my sponsor, top ten, thank you. <laughs> I chipped them in the pool this morning. I'm not I'm not gonna call them. Two fifty-nine point three. Two hundred and fifty-nine point three pounds standing. Next up, the natural Chris Norad from Boystown, New Brunswick. <laughs> Not even Boystown, the backwoods of Boystown, New Brunswick. Yeah. Professional record of 13 and 0. Christian Gonzalez, come to the scales, please. Oh. 
Hey, uh, hey, bud, can you just back up a bit? Thanks. 130.4. 130.4. And next, the Dominator, Dominic Babino, a perfect record of five wins, zero losses, and four KOs. <laughs> Next up, we have what is sure to be thrilling fight. Eddie Mazaro and Shanice Schmidt. If we have Shanice Schmidt, please come to the scales from Toronto, Ontario. Four round up. Marketing. <laughs> That's called and robbing from that. I know, there's nothing there. Just kind of pretty it up. What the hell is happening here? <laughs> See that many? Yeah, I did. <laughs> I did. Now I'm pissed. <laughs> But, you know, what's that? I'm going to give you a shirt after, but... Yeah, man, love it. All right, Donald Willis to the scales. I guess. Because he ain't cutting any more weight. That's too many abs for heavyweights. Hold on, hold on, hold
What's going on? Here, because the viewership is falling off. There we go. All right, well, that situation is being sorted out. We will move to the next bout, which features from Nakwit, New Brunswick, Joel Graham, and from Edmonton, New Brunswick, Denise Martin, a rematch of their fight back in May. Denise Martin, could you please come to the stage? Ryan Resist 
Tippy from Sydney, Cape Breton. 2015 national team member, pro debut. Two hundred point nine. Two hundred point nine. Are we going to have a square off here? Uh, let's get the stare out, little boys. Get fired up. <laughs> Thank you, gentlemen. For the main event, we will have a little here at the table to my right. Weird. Once again, I'd like to thank each and every one of you for coming. Thank you, Brandon Brewer, L Jack Promotions, for yeah. being world class boxing representing the right here. We'll keep getting the message out. There'll be somewhere between three and four thousand people tomorrow night at the Aiken Center. It will be a historic event. Thank you all for oh. coming. Best of luck to all the fighters tomorrow night. Okay, so that's it. You guys got the wins. Enjoy. I should have pictures and video up later on tonight. Hit me up if you got any questions. Talk soon.